Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for another Evercade video guys, yep, we're back on the Evercade train, chugging along nicely for another one of that series that I've been doing lately of the standalone games guys, yep, I mean Evercade has done a stellar job, they've released 10 cartridges as of recording this video and uh, there's some absolutely fantastic games on there so what i decided to do was make a series looking at individual games i did the top fives top tens and looking at the cartridges in general but i thought some of these games just need a video of their own they're that bloody good guys and yes this one is no different guys this is a stellar bloody multi-direction shooter guys and it's on this little gem of a cartridge Hey, he says, getting it out of the reflection there. It's on the Namco Museum Collection 2, guys. And it's called Warp Man. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's only an 8-bitter, but it's a stunner. It's beautiful looking. It plays like a dream. And it does get damn difficult. I'm not going to say too much about it, because we're going to take a proper look at it, aren't we? And we'll talk about it as we look at it. But yeah, it's on this fantastic collection uh oh 11 games on this collection guys oh it is a stunner of a collection there's some fantastic games on here including the uh, splatterhouse games so oh what a fantastic collection you must have it if you have an ever heard you must own this collection this and namco museum collection one of course so yeah we're going to go back on this little beauty guys as usual hey oh i know it is slowly but surely turning into an Evercade channel. But people were telling me it's turning into a Switch channel. Uh, well, there you go. It's turning into a Switch Evercade channel. But yeah, no, I mean, there's a ton of content on my channel. And, uh, you know, I do love the Switch and I love the bloody Evercade to bits. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of videos on them. Uh, basically, with the Switch, it's because Nintendo keep banging out all these bloody bargains, don't they? And I love doing that series where I do my, uh, you know, pick free up for under a pound and all that each um type videos or just a bargain in general and i love the evercade videos because they are fantastic bloody games that are on these collections guys they're fantastic and it's a stellar product it's a quality product by blaze i keep saying it i am not and you know i'm not getting a backhander from evercade for this whatsoever but um you know it just shows you it's a bloody good product and i'm in love with it it is gorgeous, a gorgeous, gorgeous product. So yes, guys, will you join me as we take a look at Warp Man, guys? This fantastic 8-bit directional shooter, guys, on the Evercade, or on the uh, yeah, Namco Museum Collection 2 on the Evercade. So will you come upstairs once again with me, and we'll look at this beauty, shall we? Yeah. You want to, you do. Yeah, you know you do. Because these Evercade videos, I'll tell you what, they are popular, my Evercade videos, and... Uh, I can totally understand why, because people want, you know, especially with a new product like this, new to the market, people want to see, you know, what, what what it does and what it looks like and how these games play before they spend that money, don't they? So I can quite understand why they're quite popular. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's a stellar product, so why not? So yes, guys, I'll see you in a sec as we take a look at this absolute classic from 1985 called Warper Man. See you in a minute. Right, here we go, you lovely people, as we take a look at another standalone gem on their Blaze's fantastic Evercade, guys. Um, this is a absolute doozy of a game. It's fantastic. It's from the Namco Museum Collection 2. It's from 1985, guys. Wow, it's got some age to it. Um, it's an 8-bit multi-direction shooter, guys. Now, obviously, the most famous of that genre is uh, asteroids isn't it but i tell you what 
this is even better than Asteroids, I really do, in my personal opinion, I love this bloody game. It's Warpman, guys. So we're going to go in and have a look, and I'll let the demo play, guys, because it shows you a little bit more of the game. And then we'll have a look at it playing, shall we? Yeah. Here we go with a very, very simple menu, guys. Um, literally just one player, two player. Obviously, we all know on the Evercade you can't do two player, so that's a bit pointless. But it's there because it's the original game. Right, here's the demo. As you can see, guys, there is no music here. Or you can, as you can hear, guys, there's no music here. Uh, on the demo, yep, yeah, there's no music, no sound effects, nothing. But look at it, doesn't it look bloody lovely? I just wonder why they didn't put the sounds in. Very, very odd. Yeah, this is a fantastic game, guys. As you can see, you've got to shoot all the enemies. Uh, they do come back, some of them, uh, you know, respawn, and some just get added. But once you clear the screen, that's it. You can move on to the next level. Look at this. Looks like Bomberman with its maze system there. Uh, you can shoot the bullets that they shoot at you, but you've got to remember that there is an alien straight behind it, so you've got to shoot that very quickly as well. Right, let's have a play on this thing and I'll show you what I mean. See, oh, there's the music, guys. So get up there, get, kill them before they kill you. That is the whole point. Now, yeah, as I say, you can shoot those bullets. And as soon as I get the chance, I will show you. Here's a special one, guys. You can tell by the sound effects. There is, we've got him. We've got 500 for him. Is brilliant. Oh, we'll just shoot them before they look what there's a bullet. Oh, the bullet got me. I was going to show you how to shoot the bullets, guys, but it got me instead. There you go, I shot a bullet. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look, I missed a really good one there. That would have been 2,000 points, probably. Or at least 1,000. See what I mean about shooting the. Oh. Oh, that was terrible. Let's play that again, guys. That was terrible. That was because I was trying to show you how to shoot the bullets out of the way. And I got killed, of course, as usual. Right, here we go. See if we can do better this time. Wouldn't be much of a video, would it? Oh, there's a special one, that 500 again. Oh, got that bullet that time. Ah, I missed him. Yes, got it. Oh, you little sod. If you had to change colour, guys, I think you might get more points from them in a different colour. Yes, we got that one. Brilliant. Missed the big one, but we got him. That's right. Oh, there he is. Look. Oh, I'll get him. Yes, 2000. Brilliant. Oh, isn't this just fantastic, though, guys? It really is, isn't it? Yes, got him. Brilliant. I want to say brilliant a lot, guys, because it is brilliant. Let's go. There, another one. And another one. Yes. Oh, no, last one there. Look, last one. That's it, on to the next level, guys. Right, on the next level, you can see a little bit of a difference. The uh, the rocks are in different places, as you can see. Oh, come on, get him quick. Oh, he goes, that's it. Oh, you bugger. Here comes another one, wicked. Now, this is where it gets a bit... Oh. I see. Yeah. You do obviously get more enemies on the screen as you progress. And they respawn. The ones that look like tomatoes, they respawn, guys. Once you kill them, another one appears. As you can see there, have a, a bit of a time on and then they come back. Oh, you got me. Bugger. Oh, here we go. Ah, really? Really bloody got me, that. See, they are quite difficult, guys, they are. <laughs> I told you it's not a walk in the park. Bloody hell, look, they nearly got me all there. I'm not even going to get to show you level 3 at this rate, am I? 
Oh, we're nearly there, guys. One more. One bloody more. Come on. Yes, got him. Brilliant. So maybe you will see level three. <laughs> and you can see the rocks have just changed again. That's the only difference, guys. Otherwise, it's all the same thing, but you'll get more enemies and they get faster and so on. Yeah. That bugger respawn there again. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, it's got him. That was a nice lot of uh, points there. Oh, we missed him now. Never mind. Oh, just got away from that bomb. Let's get him. Yes, got him. Oh, no, they got me. Oh, damn me. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, they certainly got me there, guys, didn't they? But at least you got to see level three, guys, didn't you? <laughs> but yes, guys, what a fantastic game. Absolutely. Um, don't let that fool you there down the bottom where it says 2020. That is actually, uh, obviously, for the Evercade release. Uh, yeah, it's a 1985 game. Um, oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And obviously, as you go further along, it's harder and harder and harder. Not that I didn't find that hard enough as it was. All right, guys, I'm going to give you my final thoughts now. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. It's a little stunner, isn't it? For an 8-bitter, that is a little stunner. Uh, very simple gameplay, really. I mean, it's to shoot everything in bloody sight before it kills you, isn't it? But I love the way um, it runs, guys. It's just fantastic. Where you get the special... Uh, aliens coming up you know the ones that look like crabs and what have you and their points they give you you know like 2000 1000 some are 500 the ones that look like lobsters um they're quite interesting looking aren't they but yeah it is a doozy it is an absolute doozy um it looks stunning even in its 8-bit you know glory um it does look like a little stunner and it plays like a treat um, if you're a fan of asteroids and things like that, you're going to love this, aren't you? You're going to absolutely love it. Or even, you know, like Centipede and things like that, you're going to love this bloody game because it's a, oh, it's a lovely multi-direction shooter, guys. And I'll tell you what, it's another one of them, you know. Uh, it's a reason to buy the uh, Namco Museum Collection 2 on its own already. And then you get another 10 titles with it as well. So, yeah, what a stunning little game, guys. I can't highly recommend this one enough as well. Um, yeah, oh Blaze, you are really just collecting the best bloody games possible, aren't you? Um, of course, there's going to be games there amongst the 10 cartridges that people aren't necessarily going to like. You're not going to like everything, are you? I don't like everything on them. Um, but, oh, they've done a stellar, stellar bloody job of, of uh, Evercade or Blaze uh, collecting these games, guys. And they do go for some of the, oh, the best from those developers. So yes, guys, that was another Evercade done, uh, video done and dusted and another absolute gem of a game that deserves your time, your money. Absolutely fantastic. So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. <laughs> if you didn't, oh dear, then uh, yeah, you haven't got the same love for the Evercade as I, I do, I suppose. But I suppose not everybody will, will they? Yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah, another one done and dusted. So... I'd like to say off video then. Tschüss and goodbye guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>